In this room, scientists hold one of the largest collections of seeds in the world, a collection that may hold the key to our survival. The world is sick. Farmers are losing the capacity to farm. Climate change is an uncontrollable beast. The issue is that we do not know what the challenges will be like in the future. We don't know what kinds of viruses or bacteria or fungi or insects will be challenging our crops. What we have in the seed bank is a backup of nature. Whether flooding, higher temperatures, drought or famine, climate instability is threatening farmers and our food supply. But this seed bank might hold the answer to future-proofing global crop production. They're creating a backlog of the planet's seeds while breeding new versions that can survive almost any conditions. Each one of those seeds could be the solution. The gene bank of Icarda conserves the history of this planet. If that history has a future, it's the gene bank that will guarantee it. This is Just Might Work, a show about surprising solutions to our biggest problems. CARDA is the International Center for Agricultural Research in the Dry Areas. It's a 4,000 potential variety of tomorrow, right? The drylands are really the place where we're going to play the game for the future. The drylands contain nearly one-third of all humans on Earth. And, as the name implies, its geography is severely vulnerable to climate change. What we are doing is really conserving, monitoring, documenting and also distributing the seed. We have around 140,000 samples. More than 75% of our collection is made up of what we call the local varieties or land races and the wild species. ICARDA's 3,000 scientists work with breeders and farmers in over 50 countries to provide them with seeds that they can use to breed what they call varieties that are resilient to drought, pests, or disease. The main focus of Icarda is global food security. If you are able to farm places that are already suffering today and keep them producing foods for the generation to come, then we will have a future. But in 2011, this future was put into jeopardy. Icarda was originally established in Syria as a way to preserve and protect the region's major food crops, an effort put under threat when a civil war erupted there spawned in part by the same conditions ICARDA was founded to help solve. Caught in the crossfire of Syria's civil war, Aleppo is being destroyed. As the fighting drew closer to ICARDA's headquarters, scientists had to flee, leaving everything behind. Fortunately, ICARDA had been sending backups of their collection to the Svalbard Global Seed Vault in Norway. For the first time in history, the vault allowed for an emergency withdrawal to help the seed bank get back to work. With new facilities now established in Lebanon and Morocco, the focus could shift back to breeding. To be in the field is like being in the office. The field is a place where everything happens. Nature is at its best. That is my office. My office is bloody brilliant. The gene bank meticulously catalogs every seed they receive and utilizes algorithms to quickly find favorable traits that help breeders like Filippo solve specific geographic obstacles. So let's imagine that we have a drought-tolerant material from the gene bank. We combine with a very high-yielding variety. We try to come at the end with a new variety that is much better yielding and drought-tolerant. And then from then on, it becomes my job to change what is potential into reality. Icarda is a true believer in participatory work, meaning working with farmers. We try to invite farmers to look at our semi-finished material to decide together which one of those potential new variety is actually the one that fits best their needs. ICARDA has also begun experimenting with speed breeding technology from Australia. So what we do, instead of growing the plants in the field, we grow them under control conditions. And by doing so, so what if before was a four years effort, now has become a one year effort. When more varieties are tolerant, 
to climate change, to drought, to heat, become available to farmers. Those farms will remain productive. That means employment, that means income, that means maintaining rural area alive and happy. And by doing so, we are changing the life of those farms. We are changing the life of those communities. We want to live in a world that is equitable, but also that is productive, that ensures the future for everybody. Agriculture is a living system. It's subject to continuous change. It's very important that we conserve the diversity, to make it available, to have whatever tools are needed so that we can face these uh, challenges. This is a really kind of heritage that we are passing from generation to generation. Everything we are producing at Sicarda is a public good. Anybody in the world is requesting seed free of charge. The children of the children of my children will still be able to have exactly the same diversity that I had the chance of seeing. If we give scientists enough capacities to operate, enough freedom to operate, we will have the solutions to avoid the climate crisis, making the rural area really a place alive, happy, and full of joy. <laughs>